Hey everyone, Doug here with BH. Today we're taking a look at a new solid state drive. This is the new SN850 from Western Digital. It's a high performance NVMe SSD promising some of the fastest speeds available on a cutting edge PCIe 4.0 connection. Now, for anyone out of the loop, I'll explain what that means in a second, but being labeled a game drive, the SN850 is actually a perfect option not just for gaming PCs, but even consoles such as the PS5. Speed truly is the name of the game here, as the SN850 is built to take advantage of the PCIe Gen 4 bus. This offers double the speed of the previous Gen 3, and as games begin to rely more and more on solid state speeds, drives with game-centric features and throughput are going to be increasingly important. Coming in 500 gigabyte, one terabyte, and two terabyte capacities, we have the one terabyte version here today. The SN850 reaches blistering fast read speeds of 7,000 megabytes per second and write speeds of up to 5,300 megabytes per second. These are ridiculously fast speeds by any measure. And to cope with heat during intense data transfers, there's also a model that comes with a heatsink, which is the one that we've got here. The heatsink also supports RGB lighting to match the lighting you might already have in your PC. One thing I really like about this drive and really all of Western Digital's offerings is their dashboard software, which offers a clean, easy to understand overview of all the drive's health and settings. The dashboard runs in the background and detects a Western Digital or SanDisk drive. You can see here on a freshly installed SN850, it lists total capacity, drive temperature, volume allocations, interface speeds, and it even has shortcuts to Windows own disk management tools, just in case you need to manage OS level drive settings. You can enable gaming mode on the SN850, which disables the drive's low power modes, maximizing read and write speeds in the process. It just takes a simple restart and you're right back in business. You can also effortlessly update the SNA50's firmware through here and check any diagnostics through smart tests. Now, one of the cooler parts of the SN850 is its compatibility with the PlayStation 5. With PCIe Gen 4 support and the integrated heatsink, it's fully compatible with PS5s that have the 21.02-04 firmware or later. You can install the SN850 into the PS5's M2 slot and easily add more storage to the console. In fact, We've installed it in the PS5 here to show you how easy the process is. Simply turn over the PS5 and remove the back cover, exposing the fan and SSD slot. Using a number one Phillips head screwdriver, you'll open the cover to the chamber where you can install the SN850. Sony includes a spacer element here to correctly lift your M2 drive into position, similar to the risers you would see on a PC motherboard. Once the drive is installed and secured, you can close up the console, reconnect everything, and boot it up. You'll be greeted by a prompt to format the SSD, which also mentions the exceptions to what the PS5 can store on the M2 storage. This is important to note because it's also key to understanding how best to use that added storage. Now that the drive shows up in the system, you can move both apps and games to it, freeing up space on the PS5's main drive for save files, screenshots, and video recordings. Because of the extreme Gen 4 speeds available on the SN850, you'll get the same performance that you would out of the PS5's own internal storage, while giving you much more room for today's massive game installations. That said, games are beginning to lean more heavily on solid state drives for their speed, and thankfully, large and fast SSDs like the SN850 have become the norm. The heatsink here is a must if you really want to get the most performance as it prevents the drive from throttling and ensures those crucially important speeds during gameplay. Its compatibility with the PS5 only drives home its place as a game drive, but PC builders will also love the PCIe Gen 4 compatibility for their spec'd out motherboards. So that's it for the Western Digital SN850 NVMe solid state drives. This is Doug with BNH, and I'll see you next time.